So, Phil, I hear you're the man in the know with regards to Hyundai Wea. I mean, the range is meant to be massive, isn't it? Um, yes, the Hyundai Wea range is very extensive. Um, from small lathes, two axis, up to three axis, live tooling, long bed, short bed, everything in between, and VMCs on top of that, Lindsay, yes. And VTLs also in the range. So, yes, the range is, the range is huge, yes. Okay, then, so I've got a machine shop. Let's go down the turning route. What range of machines have you got in the turning thing? Uh, what kind of machine shop have you got, Lindsay? I'm a subcontractor. Small components? Large a components, a mixture. Okay, what kind of <laughs> materials are you doing? I'm doing some tough materials sometimes, and I've got some aluminium as well. All right, okay. Well, we <laughs> offer everything here. We've got the SE range, which is the linear rail range of uh, high Hyundai wear machines. Therefore, your aluminiums, your everyday materials, and they can come in short bed, longer bed. You can have just two axis, or you can even have three axis. You can have live live tooling, Y axis, or just live tooling with milling with no Y axis. And then, if you want to do the more exotics, we have the HD range, which are single piece casting. By, um, box guide wear machines, you know, so way more rigidity and strength than those machines. I, that was something I was going to ask. I want a machine with a bit of grunt behind it. What yes. power have you got behind these machines then? Um, there's a lot of power behind them. Obviously, this machine behind us, yeah, the L4000, this machine has 30, 22 kilowatts. So lots of power and a thousand newton meters of torque. So capable of doing anything you would want of it, really, you know. Okay, floor space is a bit of an issue. I've got quite a small machine shop. Yes, okay. Um, if you've got small machines, if you're doing small components, then we offer everything from a Hyundai Wear E160, which is a very small, very fast, capable machine. Um, and then we also have the VTLs, which take up less floor space. So if you're doing shorter gauge length parts, but big diameter, the VTL is where you'd want to be, you know, and as long as you've got the roof height, of course. Amazing. Right, OK, let's go on to my milling section now. What varieties of machines have you got there then? Um, for the milling, we have a range of VMCs, everything from a 500 size up to 1.5 meter table, 1.3 meter traveling X. Um, so very capable machines, you can have them with direct drive spindle, 10,000, 12,000 RPM, 30 tools, you know, through spindle coolant, whatever, whatever you would need for your daily requirements. <laughs> You're really. literally like a walking catalog, you really are. Right, what about a full five axis simultaneous machine, have you got one of those? Uh, for full simultaneous five axis, yes, we have one from Hyundai Wear. Um, they actually have one available to see in the Tech Cube in Germany. So if UK customers did want to see one, we could take them over there and utilize their space as well to see that machine tool, yes. Are they automation ready? You know, if I've got a machine shop, are you ready to automate and how? Um, yes, the machines are ready, but um, there's no automation here, as you can see. But yes, you can put a robot in front of them. That's not a problem. You know, you can load billets, etc. You could bar feed if you wanted to automate that way, depending on what you were trying to achieve, you know. But yes, you can automate it and have lights out running to a degree on the range, yes. Okay, right. Batch runs, right, I want to, are they easy to use? Can I go from one to 100 in batch sizes? Um, yes, of course, you could do single billet if you wanted, or like I've just alluded to, you could put a bar feed unit yeah. on, you could have 1.5, three meter lens of bar, and then you could set it away, producing your components, have a parts catcher, and you could even have some kind of silo system to come in and collect the parts so you didn't even have to intervene, you know. And you can have Fanic control or you can have Siemens control as an option if you wanted to, depending on what you currently use now, what your preferred choice was in control as well, you know. Talking of controls then, um, I want to be able to have a cam package there, so or I also want my team to be able to use the control program at the machine. Yes, you could program at the machine. We'll have manual guide eye on the Fanic, which is a conversational system. Or with the Siemens, we'll have shop mill, shop turn system, which is a full conversational system. Very graphical, very easy to use, you know, very easy to learn. So if you did want to bring somebody new in, it would be very easy to integrate them into your engineering workshop at LV Engineering. I feel that there is nothing that you don't have. <laughs> uh, yes, the range is extensive. We do have something for everything with high Hyundai. Okay, then budget. Right. Yes. I've got a decent budget, but not too much. Where are you sitting on terms of budget then? Uh, to be honest, the machines are very competitively priced. We're not the most expensive, but we're not the cheapest either, you know. Right. Um, if you wanted an entry level, small two axis machine tool, they start at sub £60,000 and then go up depending on what your requirements are, you know. But yes, we're all competitively priced. All right, Ben, so where can I see the machines in action? I want to know about your credibility here then. OK, um, we have machines all over the UK, Scotland, England, Ireland, everywhere, really. Yeah. Subcontract, we have them in premium OEMs as well. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're working in defence, MOD, nuclear, you name it, and general subcontract, doing a variety of tasks. I've just had a contract come in last minute. Right, a tricky contract, maybe it's an aerospace contract. Okay. Don't know what's coming in through the door. I need a machine tomorrow. How does that work? 
Um, if we've got one in stock, <laughs> you can come tight. to us. Um, we have a good level of stock here in the UK between our Sheffield and Redditch facilities where you can come and see the machines, see them under power, have a demo if necessary. And if it's the right machine for you, for your product, then you can have this machine in under a fortnight if we have it in stock. If we don't have it in stock, we can check what's available in Germany at Hyundai Wear and Bonded Stock. And then if they have something available, then we can bring it over reasonably quickly into the UK in a matter of weeks and get you up and running. I feel like there's nothing that this brand can't bring us. Right, my, my team need training, they need service and support. I need help with these machines. Um, yeah, certainly, obviously, TW Ward is a one-stop shop. We have service, we have aftercare, and we also have very strong application support where you can get training or support following on when you have the machine going forward if you need any further support. You'll never be left alone to struggle with the machine on your own. We'll always be here, either on the phone or via a physical visit. And we have people working out of our Sheffield facility here or our additional showroom down in the Redditch area. Okay, right, I'm sold on the machines. What do you like about these machines then? And the machines are just great value for money, Lindsay. They, they give you great capability. This machine, for example, has a two meter bed, a BMT 75 turret, live tooling, 117 mil through the spindle bore, and a 570 diameter turning. It even has a tail stock and a steady rest on, included in this machine, which is fully programmable. So no operator intervention mid-cycle either. So, so the whole range just accommodates whatever the, the customer would require. We, what, what you require, we can offer it with the high and high range. So yes, we're more than just machines here at TW Ward.